Hi guys, so today I wanted to do my July through August favorites for you um, because I didn't do a July favorites because I was out of town. I was traveling like half the month of July and half the month of August. So I was gone at that time. Um, so I have a lot of things from the combined months um, that I wanted to show you. So um, first I'm going to start out with some makeup products. So while I was on vacation, I made it a point to go to a Mac store because the places I was visiting had Mac stores, but they don't have one where I live. So I was able to um, get a few products that I had been wanting. Um, one of which is this um, Mac lipstick, and it is one of their cream sheens, and it is in the color Shy Girl. Um, this is what it looks like. It's um, like a really neutral, almost peachy color uh, with some a lot of shimmer to it. So I've been wearing this so much in the past two months because um, I'm trying to really take advantage of the end of summer with bronzy, like glowy skin and shimmery lipstick. So I've been loving this product. It goes on really well. It stays on really well. Um, and it's just a beautiful color. So I really like that. Um, this next lip product I have is the Revlon Baby Lips. Now, oh, I'm sorry, Maybelline Baby Lips. Now, I was um, a little late to jump on the bandwagon with this one. I know a lot of people have been using these for months now, um, and there's a lot of hype about them, but I waited to try it, and once I did, I regretted not doing it sooner because I really love this product. Um, and I've been wearing it a lot because I was on vacation and I was... Um, out in the sun a lot and stuff um, and this has SPF I think it's SPF 20 actually which is really good so I use this as my SPF lip balm um, and it feels so moisturizing on your lips and I noticed that after um, wearing like a chapstick for a while my lips will often start to feel like pruned or something almost and I don't get that feeling with this um, because I am like a diehard chapstick brand chapstick girl that's what I love but this one is a very close second and it's been absolutely amazing the past two months um, and now this third lip product is the figs and rouge balm and it's 100% organic um, I actually got this in my glossy box not this past month but the one before that um, and I've been using this so much it has such a nice like herbal kind of smell yeah, it smells really good. Um, and it's actually a balm that you can use on your hands, um, your face, and your lips. I've actually only used this on my lips, and I think maybe once I used it on my hands or something when I was feeling really dry. Um, but this product is so nice, and it smells really nice. Um, and the packaging is just so cute. Look at that. It's just adorable. Um, and so I've really been liking this, and it's 100% organic, so you can feel really good about using it all the time. Um, so yeah, this next product is actually one of my first Lancome products. Um, this is their uh, crayon pencil, um, and no, it's called powder pencil for the brows, um, and it's in the color Sable. And I have always been a fan of the Maybelline um, Define a Brow, which I have right here. But when I was traveling, um, I think on the plane or something, it got all broken up, and so it just wouldn't work anymore. Um, and my cousin had this pencil and I used hers and I absolutely loved it so I went to pick one up um, and I really like this product because you can apply it with the ease of a pencil so it's really easy and quick to put on but it has the really natural look of a powder because it doesn't go on in sharp lines like some pencils do um, it's really soft and um, kind of powdery exactly like it says so it's really good product and then it has this little um, comb at the end of it and it's really handy for when you're doing your eyebrows to have that little brush there you don't have to have it in another tool or whatever so this has been a really awesome product um, I'm really happy with this Lancome product so far and going back to Mac while I was at the Mac store I also picked up my very first Mac makeup brush I know that's gonna sound crazy to you all because a lot of people just rave about the Mac makeup brushes and they're such high quality but there's not one around me so I never tried it out um, but I picked up um, one of the ones was the 217 brush and this brush is like the best eyeshadow brush I have ever used it applies eyeshadow flawlessly it blends eyeshadow flawlessly it's you have to put hardly any work into putting on your eyeshadow it's kind of crazy it's like you just put it on for the first time and it already looks good you don't have to like touch it up or anything so 
this brush is really, really good, and I'm really excited because I want to get some more of their eyeshadow brushes, like their crease brush and blending brush and all that sort of thing. So I was really happy about this find. This next product um, is a Laura Mercier eye canvas, um, and it is in the color EC2. Um, and it looks like this. It is just a colored um, eyeshadow base. And the reason I really love this product is because it is pigmented. So instead of just a really sheer, or usually they dry clear, eyelid primer, um, the pigmentation covers up any veins or imperfections that you may have in your eyelids. Because my eyelids, I think my skin is like really thin or something because you can see all the veins and stuff. So for those days when you're feeling um, like you don't want to put a lot of time into your makeup and you just want to cover up like any imperfections, this is a really great product. But it also um, allows your eyeshadow to go on it so smoothly and it keeps your eyeshadow on all day. So. Um, this has been a really good product. I've been really happy with Laura Mercier's products. I've been trying them a lot this year. Um, or not a lot, but I've tried like four different products um, from them recently and they've just been really nice. So I'm really happy with this. This next product I bought to actually replace my um, Smashbox bronzer because that bronzer, as much as I like it, it's very powdery and when you start to lose your tan it starts to look orange and I'm definitely losing the tan that I had over the summer so I picked up this Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder with real cocoa and it totally smells like cocoa which is kind of strange but um, it's a really beautiful matte bronzer the color is just perfect for my skin tone and for a lot of skin tones I'm sure because it's just so um, it's not too warm it's not too cool it's just right in the middle um, so I've really been loving this, and instead of like sculpting my cheekbones, I've just been using it to get like a little wash of color over my face, um, and it's been a really nice product to have. So this next product is the Maybelline Color Show Nail Lacquer in the color Chiffon Chic or 160, and it looks like this. It's just a really, really beautiful, almost Barbie pink color, um, because it does dry a little bit darker than it looks in the bottle, but I really like it. Um, it is pretty resistant to chips for being like a less expensive nail product. Um, it goes on really well. It's really highly pigmented. Um, in the color, I just love it. It's like somewhere in between a purple and a true Barbie pink, and it's just been really pretty, so I really like this product. All right, these next two products that I have are actually um, skin products that I've been using while I was on vacation because I was in the sun a lot, like I already said. Um, and this is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock in SPF 50. I'm sorry, SPF 30. Um, I have loved this product for a long time, but I've especially been using it the past two months. As you can see, like the paint on the packaging is even worn off. Um, but I really like this not just for your face because it does work really well on your face but for your chest area, your arms, um, that's where I usually use it because I do like to use a higher SPF for my face. Which brings me to this next product which is the Clinique. Um, it's an advanced protection face cream in SPF 50. I've really been enjoying this product. I've been using it on my face because it's an SPF 50 because you want a higher SPF on your face especially protect you from those fine lines and hyperpigmentation and freckling and all that stuff that you may not want on your face. I will say it does feel a little bit heavier than the Neutrogena Dry Touch, but I think that that's just because it's an SPF 50. Um, but I like this product a lot because my makeup also goes on over it really well. And even when, if you're like swimming or something and you get water on your face, it doesn't completely rub off. It stays on pretty well. And it's gentle, so it's really good for sensitive skin, and I have sensitive skin, so this has been a really good product. And for when I don't apply enough of the SPF, or I forget to, I have been loving the Carmex Healing Lotion um, with aloe and vitamin E for when I have sunburn. Um, now, I was really intrigued to buy this product because I love Carmex's lip balm. Um, I've been using it since I was a little kid because it's always been my mother's favorite. Um, but I, when I saw that they had a lotion, I really wanted to pick it up and try it. Um, and I've been really happy with this. It does have um, kind of the menthol smell of the um, classic Carmex lip products, 
but I don't mind it so much when I'm just using it for sunburn. It really seems to relieve sunburn. It relieves the itch. It relieves the hot sensation. Um, so this has been a really good product. And for my last skin product, I have the Aveeno Positively Radiant. Oh my gosh, it's dripping on me. Ah! Um, Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser with Moisture Rich Soy Extract. Um, and it says that it helps even skin tone and texture. Um, and I haven't noticed the skin tone thing, but um, this has been a really nice product because I wanted to find a cheaper alternative to the skin products that I'd previously been using, like the Fresh Soy Cleanser and um, the Kate Somerville Sensitive Skin Cleanser, because while I do like those, I don't know if they're amazing enough to um, justify the like 30 something dollar cost of a full bottle. Um, I think it's that much. I can't be sure though. Um, when this is like six-ish dollars maybe um, and I really like this it's really good for sensitive skin um, it gets rid of any leftover makeup residue you may have after you already take off your makeup um, and it's not too drying which is an issue that I often have with cleansers even if they say they're sensitive I think my skin's like extra sensitive or something um, so this is a really nice product it's oil free soap free reading off the back of the bottle here, hypoallergenic and non-comedogenic. So it won't clog your pores and it'll be really good for you if you have sensitive skin. So I really recommend this product if you're looking for an inexpensive all natural face cleanser. This next favorite I have is actually a fashion favorite and it is this watch that I actually got from Target. Um, I'm not really sure of the brand but it's in the aisle with like the rest of all of their Target brand watches or it's not Target brand, but it's a brand that Target carries. And I really wanted a Michael Kors watch that looks like this, but I just couldn't justify spending the money on it because I do think that um, while watches are classic, I think the big chunky watch with gold and stuff is gonna be a trend. So I didn't wanna spend a ton of money on it. And I think I got this for maybe $15, something around there. Um, so it's been a really lovely accessory, I think. And this very last product I have is beauty related, but it's not a product. It is um, the Green Beauty Guide by Julie Gabrielle. And I actually got this um, from a really cool used bookstore in Vermont. I cannot remember the name of it, but um, it is a really good resource for learning about natural skincare alternatives. Um, it's for skincare, hair care, makeup, fragrances, and it even has recipes for making your own products, which I think is really neat. It is just so informative and well written and thorough, um, and it's just been a really nice read. It's one of those that you can pick up and read randomly whenever you feel like it for as long as you want. It's not something you have to continue from start to finish, so um, I really highly recommend this book. Okay, and I think that concludes my July and August favorites. Um, I hope you all have had a lovely July and August, and I hope you'll have a lovely September. Um, I cannot believe it's September, but um, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you very soon.